quick look uh, about the reflow service. Um, it's done by Niagara Mods. Great piece of software. So let's just uh, show you a little bit about it first. It works better um, via a web browser. It's telling you here for best experience, access reflow from a web browser. But uh, I'm in the um, the station. It's a Mac 36 NL station. It's also connected to an IQ3 um, trend controller. It's a bit slow, but that's probably down to the info, all the information it's actually taking in. Um, I've got some pages for the IQ3s up here on the left hand side, right hand side, sorry. Uh, plant room IQ3 fan coils. So most of these are all uh, PX pages. Um, I'll show you the the trend stuff. So if we go and have a look at the network trend driver network IQ3 controller. And it will load up IQ3 points. So I'm bringing in all the points in from the trend back into the Mac 36 NL controller, Niagara Trillium controller. Uh, there's your inputs as you can see from the trend. I'll scroll down and my mouse catches up with me so there's a pumping alarm there as you can see cooling pump There's the inputs. Sensors. Knobs. So adjustments. Switches, the W1 switches, W2, W3. Go back to reflow again. Natchez license for this controller. Views. Reflow config. I think it's a nice clean system. Um, let's just go to building. there with the fan coil units gas boilers got uh, ground source heat pumps uh, let's just go into one fan coil unit let's go into that one for example studio master space temperature 22.83 
go to the schedulers. Let's have a look at some histories. Hundred and thirty three histories. And then let's have a look at uh, the plant room. I think this is a PX. It will be. No, thank you. I know it is. I wrote it. But, uh, you can add PX sheets. And that's the plant room PX sheet. Anyway, I'll carry on, but uh, it was just an idea just to show you a bit about reflow.